goodness, he about pulled the rod out of my hand. Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Souders, Catfish Crazy. Welcome to this week's episode. We'll be coming from Wilson Lake, which is the smallest lake on the Tennessee River, but it's got some of the biggest fish. Stick around, we're gonna try to put some of them in the boat. Hey, welcome back, folks. I'm here again on Wilson Lake with Captain Mike Mitchell from Southern Cats Guide Service. Mike? Chris, good to be here. Yeah, buddy. Hey, now I have fished against you several times. This is the first time we've ever fished together on Wilson Lake down here in Alabama. I'm excited about being here. That's correct. I hope we catch some big ones. It's the weather's nice and the water's flowing. We should should have a good day. A lot of, lot of flow, and uh, that's something we can touch on you know, as we go through the show today. But uh, stick around, folks. I think we're gonna put some fish in the boat. Let's see what happens, Mike. All right, when we're in these catfish tournaments, you know, we, we're fishing for two big bites a lot of times, and we like to use really big bait. So this is a skipjack, and we'll take it and just cut basically in half. So that's one bait. If we're fishing for a giant fish, and I'll run two hooks in this fish. I'll put one through the nostrils and one back here. And a lot of times they'll, they could swim up there and grab half of that bait so you got that back hook to get him. But most of the time they'll swallow that whole bait, no problem. That's a big fish bait right there. I can't oh, wait yeah. to get that thing in the water. Come on. Got you in something? Yeah, he's got me in a tree. There we go. If I can get him out. Come on out of there. Come on, buddy. Come on. Feels like a good good fish if I can get him out of that tree. We're fishing. We're fishing a lot of these stand-up timber trees, and these fish are just kind of laying right in these trees. Come on, buddy. Uh, he's still there. There he come up out of came it. Out. That don't happen too often, you does learned it, Mike? me something there. I don't know what you did. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you gotta <laughs> get, put it back in the rod holder, put some tension on them, they'll work their way back out. Nice fish. It's a nice one. Yeah. Mike, if you don't mind, grab that net there. Nice way to start the day right here, folks. There we go. All right. All right. <laughs> now, Mike, what's the, is, you know, is this an average fish for the Wilson Lake? Yeah, I would say that's probably, you know, 25 pounds or so. And that's just a good solid fish. You catch a lot that size and you get some bigger, but yeah. you don't get a lot of babies. Oh, man, he's got a stout mouth on him. Yeah, they, they, 
they, bite, they chomp down, don't they? Yes, they do. That hook did a great job. Look right there in the corner, isn't it? Yep. Awesome. Yeah, mine hooked. Watch the tips of my rods, though, but I'll watch my line, too. Like on that one, you, yours, I seen your line start swimming. Yeah, buddy. The action continues when Catfish Crazy returns. Sea Arc Boats is a proud sponsor of Catfish Crazy. Our boats are built for superior durability and stability. Whether you fish on calm waters or the chop of a big lake, our commitment to quality and design ensure a smoother ride than our competition. We feature several lines of boats to meet your fishing needs, like the Easy Cat, the Pro Cat Series, and the River Cat Series. All of our boats are designed with the input of anglers who use them, and that has led us to be the number one catfish boat for over 10 years. Sea Arc Boats, built for a lifetime. Visit SeaArcBoats.com and make Sea Arc the boat for your next adventure. Tackle Bandit is your one-stop shop for all your catfishing needs. We have terminal tackle, cast nets, reels, lines, sinkers, planer boards, demon dragons, crappie jigs, sabiki rigs. We offer free shipping on orders over $100. Find us at TackleBandit.com. Hey, what's up folks? Chris Souders, Catfish Crazy, and I choose Suzuki Outboards for their amazing performance, outstanding warranty, but most importantly, because Suzuki gives me the confidence to go anywhere on the water and know that I can make it back safely. Check out the ultimate four-stroke outboard at suzukimarine.com and make Suzuki your next outboard. Catfish Crazy is brought to you by these quality sponsors. Sea Arc, boats built for a lifetime. Warrior Cat Rods, for cat fishermen, by cat fishermen. Suzuki, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Fitech Cast Nets, when only the best will do. S well, I didn't take long. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh yeah. Uh, that didn't take long at all, Mike. Put the heat on him, buddy. He's in Is he? He was for a minute there. He ain't that big. Now, Mike, you want to talk a little bit about your guide service and fast action there, wasn't it? Yeah. That's what it's supposed to be like, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put on a little string. Oh, you got one on this side too. Oh. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Oh, Dandy yeah. fish. <laughs> oh, Dandy yeah. fish. Did you get you in something? Yeah. Well, that's a nice fish, Mike. Big old bait. It's good Come under. on, buddy. Oh, this one come unbuttoned. Oh my goodness. Nope, he broke me off. Broke you off. Yep. That's the way it goes though, isn't it? Yes, sir. Broke that leader off. You can get that one retied if you want to get that one in. That happened quick. Now we just, just set up just on that tree. Went but just a couple minutes. Had a couple good bites. I think we're in the right area now. I think so. You got your bell open? No, I didn't see my side. See, that, that one was bait. on the finger hook. The back hook there. Now, you was talking about that there whenever we first started, and, and that one's is exactly what happened. That hook got pulled out right on that stinger hook. He didn't swallow the whole bait, but he swallowed the back part of it, didn't he? Yep. I don't know, this fish is probably being over, but he's gonna be real close. That's a nice fish. Being a, probably about a 35 incher. He's talking to you. Got a little air <laughs> in him, don't he? Yep. Very pretty fish. Anybody would be happy to catch that, wouldn't they? Oh yeah. Give me some, Mike. 
That, that looked like a, a good fish. He was, uh, I, I didn't, couldn't tell if he had you in something or not. He did. He, he did definitely. everything. Going across everything, ain't he? Where's he going, Mike? <laughs> I don't know where That's he's good. at. Something over top of you here. Get this one up. Oh, it's hung up. You snagged up. Well, Mike, well, I'm fighting this fish since we didn't get a chance to talk about it a minute ago. Why don't you tell him about your uh, guide service? Yeah, I've been guiding since uh, 2003. Southern Cats Guide Service, and do a little bit of a little bit of fishing on Gunnersville, but I've moved closer to this uh, to the Muscle Shoals area. So I mainly fish uh, Wheeler and Wilson now. Sometimes Pigwick. And that's uh, Southern Guide. Southern Cats Guide Southern Service. Southern Cats Guide Service. That's a tongue twister. Yeah, I've got a website, it's uh, Tennessee River Outfitters, but the name of my guide service is Southern Cats Guide Service. This feels like a pretty good fish. Another nice one. Hey. Wilson Lake, smallest lake on the Tennessee River chain. Oh yes, yeah, real good one there. <laughs> and this right here, Woo. folks, is... That's what we come after. This is what we come after. Big fish in the smallest lake. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you play with him a little bit. You're having fun. Oh, I love it, Mike. Don't nice. ever want to get them on the first pass. Like a baby Shamu well down there, isn't he? <laughs> Let you get some good out of it. Yes, sir. Look at the big old head on that joker. Let's see if you can get him in here, Mike. Oh, yeah. Right there on that old double hook Kentucky rig. That's a good tournament fish. Yes, it is. I'll take him any day. 35 foot of water, and man, did he like that old skipjack. Ooh. Yes, sir. Pig. Yes, sir. Another perfect hook set there. Man, I'll tell you what, those, these Diachi hooks, they're hard to beat. Now, <laughs> you know what's crazy is we've missed two other fish. Right here. Yeah, one break off, and I bet the one that broke off was another good one like this. I think that one may yes, go. Yes, sir. Look at the head on that joker that face. It may go 60, don't, don't you think? I don't know, but he is big. Yeah, buddy. Hey, Southern Cats Ooh. Guide Service folks, get you some of that. Yes, sir. Awesome. Sixty. Oh yeah. Uh, nice. Sixty-one and some change. Offshore Tackle is the number one selling planer board brand worldwide. Often imitated but never duplicated, we are the leader in trolling technology. With three sizes of planer boards, we offer a variety of releases and weight systems to get your baits right down to the fish. Models we make include the popular OR37 SST Pro Mag Planer. The OR37 will pull heavier weights better than any other planer board, and they're made in the USA. The best in the market when it comes to quality, durability, and performance is Offshore Tackle. When it comes to grabbing bait, the cast net you use should perform at its best every single throw. Every cast net at Phytech is made with care and precision. That's why most fishermen prefer the Super Spreader cast net over competing cast net brands. With over 100 different cast net models, Phytech truly has a cast net for everyone. Maximum spread with the fastest sinking rate, that's the Super Spreader promise. Visit www.castnets.com to find a dealer near you. Like many of you, I've had back issues. From the pounding waves of Lake Erie. To over 30 years of competitive angling. And a lifetime on the water, but not anymore. Smooth moves change the game. It's a must have for me and my clients. It's like my boat is floating on air. They're easy to install. Fully adjustable. It makes a day on the water a whole lot more comfortable. 
Smooth your ride with Smooth Moves. Catfish Crazy is brought to you by these quality sponsors. Slunger Cat Outdoors. Offshore Tackle. Extreme Bait Tanks. Demon Dragons. Tackle Bandit. Marine Masters Trailers. Smooth Move Seats. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, oh my Oh God. yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo. Oh. If we can get him out of here. If we can get him out of here. Now Mike, why don't you explain to him what we're fishing here? We're in some standing timber. So we're we're setting uh he come out of it. 32 foot deep. And we're you sure you got him out? Yeah, I got him out. He's he's this is a good fish. We're fishing trees that are 10 or 15 foot off the bottom. So they're really hard to get out of there. You gotta really jump on them and he's hooked up to a good one now. And it you know, folks, you need a good line to to be you need a good line for this to be, you know, brazen resistance. And Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. There we go. He's pulling some drag. You know, good heavy leader lines, you know. You've got 30 pound mono and I've got 40 pound mono and I'm running. No, this is 50. 50? Yeah, I run 50 pound mono, main line, uh, 80 pound leader. And you kind of do the same thing. You run what? Uh, 40 pound mono and, and I've got a 100 pound leader. Good fish. Man, this one here is, he's, he's fighting. fighting. Ain't he? He's fighting. He's pulling a little drag. <laughs> I'll get behind you that way. That'll work. That way he can film you good. Yeah, we'll switch spots there. See how big he is. There you go. Beautiful blue cat right here, folks. And he come on that Kentucky rig, that double hook Kentucky rig. There we go. Fat. <laughs> yes, sir, Mike. Get that big old boy up in here. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Give me some. All right. Yes, sir. Cut, skip, jack. Pig. There you go, folks. <laughs> this may be the smallest lake in the Tennessee River, but good fish. Look at the mouth. Mike, this fish has got a face only mother can love, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's the second one we've caught that's had that big high hump. hump. Hump back. Got shoulders. He sure does have shoulders on him. All right, let's get a weight on this big boy and see what he's what he weighs. Ooh. 49. 49 pounds. There we Pretty go. Good guess, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nice fish. 49. He's going south with her, buddy. Oh yeah. Did you see that rod go down, son? That's what I'm talking about. Give him up out of that tree. Put that heat on him, baby. There he come. Now was that on that big piece of bait or small piece? Small piece. Did he get you in it? Come to a stopping point. Huh. The action continues when Catfish Crazy returns. I think we got a good one here, buddy. When it comes to catfishing, Warrior Cat Rods are the definition of durability. You need to upgrade your tackle. Heavy current, big fish, like these, you know, these Warrior Cat heavy rods are. Able to handle the heaviest of catfish. These amazing rods feature a beautiful finish, evenly spaced guides for maximum casting distance, and are supported by an unbelievable backbone. Let the next big takedown be with Warrior Cat Rods, for Cat Fishermen, by Cat Fishermen. Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Souders, Catfish Crazy, and today I'd like to take a moment to talk to you guys about Demon Dragons. Demon Dragons were invented to keep your baits 
elevated up into the water column while dragging or drifting and to also add some noise and vibration pick up some of those finicky bites like those flatheads are notorious for. So check them out, TackleBandit.com, and let us know what you think. Have you ever heard the old saying, you get what you pay for? We could not agree more. It is Extreme's mission statement to build the highest quality bait tanks and accessories on the market today. Using the best materials and craftsmanship, couple that with lightning fast shipping and unheard of customer service, that's our definition of you get what you pay for. As always, you can visit us at ExtremeBaitTanks.com for products, sizes and pricing because a great day of fishing starts with a great live bait. And until then, have an extreme day. He's still there. They come out. They come out, didn't he? Come out. There we go, baby. Yes, sir. You had to work that fish quite a bit. Did he come out? Ooh, we got lucky. <laughs> hey, I'd rather be lucky any day, you know it? Another nice fish here on Wilson Lake. Man. Everything we've caught has been buried in that stuff today, haven't yep. it? They, uh, they have definitely been in the wood, haven't they? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Ooh, Give me some, baby. All right. Boom. <laughs> Got him out. That right there just shows you why you why you use good line. Good yep. line. I mean that, folks. Slime line. Highly abrasion resistant. Good knot strength, and it makes a difference. And this right here is proof in the pudding. That tree was stuck, or that fish was stuck in that tree, what? Two, three minutes? Yeah, we wouldn't have had a chance if, if it wasn't been for that. For good line. For good line. Beautiful fish. Good and healthy. Not a mark on him. Nope. These fish are good and marbled up too. Yep. yep. We'll let him go and see if we can't put another one in the boat. Good deal. It's been a good day for so, so far, hasn't it? Oh yeah. Woo! Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh. He's, he's in that tree. Get him. Get him. Get him. Come on, come on out of there. Oh yeah. Yeah. You get him out? Yes, sir. Now Mike. It's a good what? one there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's so important to get those fish, get on those fish when we're fishing like this. And, and get them up out of that tree, isn't it? Yep, that's what I tell people. You see that rod to go to move and go to that rod. And soon as you think that fish is, has got it, put the hammer down. Put some heat on him. Oh, another beautiful <laughs> fish. Good one. We done put yeah. the back up here. Oh, we just barely hooked too. There we go. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh yeah, Tennessee Ooh. River, baby. That was a good take down there. Give me some. Man, he smoked that thing, didn't he? Didn't take long, what, we've been here two minutes. They Say always, goodbye. You always hear people talk about them Alabama bites, and that was one of them right there. Look at that. Look at that big old belly on Dandy. that fella. Yes, sir. 
You know, all the fish we've caught today have been nice, and this is just another example of what a good Tennessee River blue cat looks like. Yeah, they're healthy Down. this time of the year. They'll just keep getting fatter till springtime, but they're already <laughs> kind of like filling me. out. Yeah. Go into winter and you just keep on eating. I tell you what, Mike, I've had a wonderful day out here, buddy. Appreciate it. I've enjoyed it. And folks, if you get a chance, come down here to Tennessee River. Give old Mike a call, Southern Cats Guide Service. He gonna do it for you. I promise you. Folks, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll catch you next time with more Catfish Crazy. For more Catfish Crazy, check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.